And I was very lucky to meet with Bob Long it was almost 10 years ago after I developed the glycogen device and we started measuring different levels of microvascular health and glycocalyx damage in individuals. So the first question that always came up is, okay, I have a compromised microvascular system and my glycocalyx might be damaged. So what can I do about it? And you know, I didn't know what to tell them. And then Bob showed up in 2012 and we started working what's now known as endocalyx. So it is a specific a therapeutic design to improve the health of your glycocalyx and microvascular health. So with that, I'll give the word back to Bob Long and he can tell a little bit more how it came about and what's so important about endocalyx. Well, thank you, Hans. I appreciate that overview and introduction. I think it might be helpful to share a little more background about how you and I came to meet. It all began for me with a personal health scare that I had in 2009 and 10. And I went to a cardiologist and he thought I had a blockage. He didn't do any image or anything. I'd gone for my annual physical and I told my physician I had a tightness in my chest when I walked up in the mountains behind my house in Utah. And he sent me to see a cardiologist that day. And actually where they sent me was at the regional medical center. They talked to me and they said, well, we think you've probably got a blockage in one of your arteries. So what we'd like to do is an angioplasty procedure. We'll go into a little camera. And if you've got a blockage, then we'll put a stent in and that will solve the problem. I hadn't had a heart attack. I just knew I had a tightness in my chest. So they did that procedure. And then after it was over, it wasn't an emergency procedure. So I was the last one to get it done at the hospital that day. The physician came back and said, I've got good news and I've got bad news. And he said, well, give me the good news. And the good news was that I didn't have any blockages. So they didn't need to put a stent in. And the bad news was they didn't really know why I had that tightness in my chest. So as I said, that was in about 2009. And so my radar was up really high because I, in my mind, I wondered what was happening to me. And I also thought, I wonder how many thousands of people does this happen to in the world? And there's really nothing that is currently being done. So we had just sold a company at that time. So I had time and money on my hands. And because my radar was up high, I was introduced by a friend. He and his brother had created a product called Provasca that ultimately fell in the market, didn't succeed. But they told me about the concept of the endothelial glycocalyx. And when I heard of that concept, that was, I guess, a lightning bolt moment for me in that I thought that might be what's wrong with me. So I shifted all my energy and time to becoming an expert on the endothelial glycocalyx. And in the course of doing that, I kept coming across all the papers published by one individual in the Netherlands, Dr. Hans Vink. And I came to understand that he was a leading pioneer in that research. And I read all of his papers. I became an chanted with the thought of what if we could create a product that could restore that endothelial glycocalyx when it breaks down. And so that's what we set out to do. I hired a biochemist and a team and we started developing a product and I'll explain more of that in a few minutes. But I went over and I met with Hans because I was following all of his work and I knew that he had developed the glycocheck system. That was in early 2012, as Hans mentioned. And I thought, well, the only way I could find out if I'm on the right track with the product I'm developing is if I could get measured with this glycocheck, because based on what it's supposed to do, it could tell me if what I'm working on is making a thicker glycocalyx. And so that's what I did. And that's how Hans and I originally met. 